Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have firewood splitting safety special. We are going to find out what is the best and the safest way to split some firewood. And I have made lot of different tool designs that are better and safer than anything that you have ever seen split firewood. And I think we are going to first start with this magnificent thing. It's called uh, uh, splitting knife 5 million. The idea is really simple. You just split the wood like tomato with the kitchen knife. Here we go. And this is Apukokki knife that was one of the best knives on our knife test. So here we go. Should be really easy. <laughs> We have reached the peak safety with this one. Nothing says more safe than this. There's eight Apukokki knives welded together. And we are going to first try to split this. What is Christmas tree? No, pine is the one that with the pineapples. It's not this one. It's a Christmas tree. It's the Christmas tree. Yeah. And Definitely don't try this one at home. This is stupid. Okay. Uh, it's going to split or it's going to explode. I take both ones as a good option. Ooh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I need a Okay, here is one knife. Okay, you can see the uh, like knives inside of the wood. I think this was just too large or something. Yeah, but the uh, plates are still good. It's just not like very good uh, steel for welding. It gets like too hard when you weld it and then it cracks. But uh, I have a bit similar tool ready on my inventory. So let's try with that. Okay, so if the knives are not the right solution, then this is going to probably work. Check out. If you have been watching my uh, second channel, you have been already seen this. I made it like one year ago. And I have been actually using it ever since. It's a really useful tool. I have like, you have seen what size of wood I have usually on my yard. And this is perfect for that. But how good it's going to be when we combine it with the press. Let's have a look. Okay, so the lock goes here. And this goes here. And I think it's going to be quite easy. Or oh, maybe not. Okay, now it's practice. So for this size you need a couple tons. I think it's not unreasonable. 
You could split this also by hitting it, but it would probably take a couple swings and not be easy. But let's see like size of wood that I regularly split with these, with ease. Yeah, with this one I would be quite confident that I could uh, split it on the first swing. So let's see how much force it's going to take with the press. Yeah, that was super easy. <coughs> yeah. I give 5 out of 5 for this one. And uh, so if this is like really easy tool to like split wood, how about the worst possible tool? I would guess that the worm maker isn't optimal for this, so let's see how it goes. Yeah, it clearly didn't like that. Uh, it was really hard to get the tool in. And then it started to leak from the weld. I think these are not probably really uh, weldable steels. It's just random scrap steel. It gets hard when you weld it or something is clearly wrong with the welds. But some came out and the rest got dried up pretty well. Okay, so it isn't surprised that with 150 tons running a log splitter isn't that hard. But how about if we want to split them in this way? How this is going to work? I think it's going to need a bit more power, but how much? Let's see. <laughs> is in one. It cuts it to length, splits it and dries it up. This is perfect. Okay, let's see perch also in this way. This seems to be a lot harder than the spruce or the Christmas tree. <laughs> Next creative experiment, safety experiment. We are going to uh, have wood death match. Perch versus spruce. Okay, here we go. This is actually really interesting. Oh, what a difference. Oh, what a mess. I think here's your answer. Yeah, but uh, this is not going to escape either. Mm -mm. Oh. Does it want to stay there? I think it was a bit crooked. Yeah, but I have to say that the comparison between two woods, that was really interesting. And we have much more stupider videos coming in, in like before the summer. We have the stupidest stuff that you have ever seen coming. So subscribe to the channel to check those out. That is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.